Hello traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another pre-market video ahead of the opening bell for Wednesday. Following the mixed performance seen in the previous session, stocks moved mostly higher during trading on Tuesday, but momentum slowed a little, you know, as even the bulls are wondering how much longer the swing streak can last. So here's the span of five minutes time frame and as you can see we started the day with a gap up. The tendency early in the trading day was to close the gap and many times these kind of gaps are getting closed but when you see this bottoming tail, the, f the first bottoming tail, the second one and the third one, you know the, the S&P 500 has, it's exactly the ingredient the S&P 500 needs in order to um, shoot higher into a new another new all-time highs. We did see some selling pressure at the end of the day. I wouldn't read too much into it. This is mostly a pro some profit taking. Now, actually, you could say that the only blemish, you know, on this impressive new year's rally. Let's just take a, a, a look on the daily chart. We have now six winning days in a row. Um, the only blemish uh, would be uh, on this rally c came on Monday actually when the Dow Jones, this is the DIA, closed with a tiny loss, only 0.05%, but that broke uh, three straight days of all-time highs for the Dow Jones. But the index actually returned to the fold um, yesterday with an advance of 0.41%. To a new, uh, to a new record, as you can see right now. The other major, major indices have yet to take a break in 2018. So the S&P 500 um, was up yesterday, 0.13 percent, and the Nasdaq, the QQQ, advanced 0.09 percent. There are still great pockets of hot momentum to be found. So yesterday, um, WTW. What a, fo a, a great follow through after Monday's uh, great uh, performance. So WT WTW continued to rally and uh, broke out a big resistance level, as you can see right here, uh, just over the 50, just over the 54 um, dollars. Once again, if yesterday we talked about the two um, to five pullback bars technique. It worked great, uh, giving you a couple of opportunity of, of opportunities on WTW. Uh, these are these are the first um, two consecutive opposite bars uh, we saw on WTW. Uh, this is on the five minute time frame, so you could take um, a long position here. Another uh, another opportunity was here with these two consecutive uh, red bars uh, going long after this bar. Um, also, we have a, we had a third opportunity um, later in the day after four red consecutive bars, and this is a great uh, reverse bar to go along. Uh, and you know, only taking you know this bar above 56.14, and by the end of the day, you are with almost one dollar per share uh, in, in your pocket. And, and and the stop loss was just below 55.75. So this is a trade that gives you about 35 cents uh, risk per share. Most speculative action was found yesterday in NKTR, a very strong open to the day, the two consecutive opposite bars you get using my technique here um, after this uh, green bar stop loss below um, the last low which held perfectly uh, all the day and uh, if you just hold this position, you know you had you benefited from a great uh, end of the day rally uh, in NKTR. Xnet started with the boom bar yesterday, another great performance, and using the two to five pullback bars technique, um, you had an opportunity here after these um, two consecutive red bars. Not a good opportunity. And let's take a look also on SRPT, which uh, was great. And the first um, the first opportunity uh, on that stock using only the, f the five minutes, because I if we get, if we will switch to one minute uh, time frame, you will get more, much more opportunities. Um, these are three consecutive red bars. 
after a great rally. First of all, in this technique, you need to understand and, and realize that this is actually just a eye popping that um, the stock is rolling. The stock holds great momentum. So the, uh, after rallying for the first, you know, uh, two hours or so, uh, we have here three consecutive red bars opposite to the previous action. This is the first green bar. We get long here, and this is another great rally on SRPT. So lots of opp opportunities uh, yesterday. Today I want to tell you why 2018 now has great chances uh, of proving to be another great year for investors with double gains, double digits gains. And th that is due to the first five days indicator. You see, the S&P 500 and Nasdaq reg registered um, their sixth closing record highs. One, two, three, four, five, six. We haven't seen that for the S&P 500 since 1964, and for the Nasdaq, it's been since 1999. Now, just to remind you, the S&P was up 13% in 1964, but the Nasdaq roared ahead 85% in 1999. Now, the fact that the first five trading days of the year were positive was already a good omen and is very promising to for rest of the year, and here's why. The S&P 500 first, first five days indicator has come in positive for 2018, and according to Jeff Hirsch, he is the editor of the Stock Traders Almanac, he says that that means there is now an 83.7% chance that equities will rise for the year as a whole. And that is very good news for Wall Street. Now, the first five days indicator is backtested to 1950. And the indicator holds that if the S&P 500 rises during the first five sessions of any given year, odds are it will finish higher for that year as a whole. Uh, with the S&P 500 up 2.8% for the year, as of the close on Monday, that is the first five um, sessions of the year, the indicator has come in positive for 2018. Now, the, j just to talk about statistics and about the accuracy of the first five days indicator, it has correctly predicted the S&P 500's annual direction in all but seven years since 1950. These, th these are very good numbers. The indicator came in positive 43 times between 1950 and 2017, and the S&P 500 ultimately rose in 36 of those instances, and that is how we get to 83.7% accuracy rating. The first five days indicator also points to outsized annual gains for the S&P 500, 13.9% on average when the first five sessions are positive, and that is versus, you know, only 9.2% gains for all years between 1950 and 2017. All right, stocks on the radar for Wednesday. So first of all, there are a few earnings on Wednesday, including KBH, Lina, LEN, and SIG, SIG. On the economic front, there are import prices at half past eight Eastern time and wholesale trade at 10 o'clock. And of course, the weekly oil inventories uh, are coming out as always on Wednesday, half past 10. Yesterday, after the bell, UAL, United Continental stock, rose more than 2% in the extended session. So the airline company released its December 2017 operational performance report, which showed increases in revenue passenger miles and available seat miles. These are the two most important metrics for determining um, airline success. So I'll be looking at UAL together with AAL, DAA, DAL, um, LUV, the major airliners. Uh, in Wall Street. Shared of WD40, this is WDFC, another mover in the extended session yesterday, jumped more than 4% after the bell. Um, the industrial spray manufacturer reported first quarter earnings and revenue that pleased investors, as you can see on the chart, including 9% year over year revenue growth. Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Take care. Bye bye.